Today we find out why this toy was discontinued. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Most of the toys that we've tested, played with, destroyed, ripped to shreds emotionally, have served as a pretty good examples of why they were discontinued in the first place. But the faint glimmer of hope for that one toy that seems to have slipped into the terminated category for seemingly no good reason is why we're here today. Yeah, because if even a single toy deserves to be brought back, then by George, bring the damn thing back. It's time for Terminated Toys Judgment Day. Up first, we got some yak back toys, which are supposed to record your voice and then play it back in a weird way. Before we give them a try, let's see this commercial from 1996. Oh. That's cool, let's do it again. Oh man, this is our senior year in high school, bro. Remember that? That's cool. Do it again. Whoa, what? Oh, hey. what? Oh. What's happening? This kid has digested something he shouldn't have. I think he's being like what torture? Why is it so? That's cool. Let's do it again. Yak back SFX. Say it, play it, warp it, and now sound effects. Uh, this is I'm disturbed. I mean, man. this is like one of those things. that's like Clockwork Orange. It's got a little bit of that feel to it. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to respond to that. What? But we've got two of them here. You've got the one that was from the commercial. I've got Yak the Bender power S. pins. FX. This is basically a pen that does similar things. Let's start with a bender since uh, we did pay $65 for it on Going eBay. on a bender. Um, all right, so I got this thing on here. Um, Just say something into it. I'm sorry, sir. Your test results came back and they are indeed fatal. How about that? Oh, you know? Yeah, the, the doctor yeah. might have to say this. Right. I'm sorry, sir. Your test results came back and they are indeed fatal. <laughs> oh, wow. That's good. Okay, so, so this <laughs> that, is like when doctors got to reveal like bad news and doesn't want to do it himself and just wants to just give you the yak back toy and say, press the button. And I so can't do it myself. This thing right here changes the tempo of it. And then there's the sound effects. Yeah, I mean, it makes negative test results, or I guess positive test results, more fun. And while the doctor uh -oh. is uh oh, death while the doctor is writing his prescriptions out, he can make notes to himself and say things like Stink make me horny. <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh two hundred milligrams of ibuprofen? Oh wow, this that is really horrible. working. That's really held up. Stink make me horny. Yeah, that speaker. And I think you can change the um the tenor of it. They basically took the crappiest recording devices and like turned them into toys, which is pretty. I'm a brilliant. real boy. Oh, that's that's hard to listen to, Doc. I'm sorry, sir, but your test results are back, and you are not a real boy. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Oh, hey, play it when I when I show up. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's gone. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is fun. Yeah, uh, I'm having so much fun. This is basically like a precursor to uh, voice filters on TikTok. Everything we that need these can anymore? do, the, uh, your phone can do, except write. Of course, this doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it this doesn't. doesn't doesn't write anymore. We paid fifty dollars for it. We also it paid right sixty dollars for this backwards yak thing, and it doesn't work at all. I think that if every single thing that your toy can do is something that can be done better by the device that's always in your hand, yeah. Um, and every kid has a. Everybody's phone got a phone. Everybody can warp their voice. Everybody can make weird sound effects. Every doctor can say stink make me horny while he's writing prescriptions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yak back toys. Nah, that's, that's whack. whack. Up next, we've got Dare the Board Game. Because there's no greater joy than forcing your friends to 
humiliate themselves. Now, before we take a look at this self. This and not self, do drugs, though? This self. Is this an anti-drug? I thought it was gonna be dare to keep kids off drugs, but I don't see anything to indicate uh, that. Let's uh, see the commercial from 1988. Squeeze another player oh, she's tightly. Kid. Due to the mature nature of our new game, we're, we're unable to show you exactly are, how to play this it. Is a well, hey, yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on in this party? Fun. Take a shower with your clothes on. Oh, no. There. With your clothes on? Ooh. Take a shower with your with clothes, your clothes on. on. Nobody goes to somebody's house for game night and ends up in the shower with their clothes on. Unbutton your blouse, Until revealing now, an another, another blouse. Another blouse <laughs> with 11 buttons. <laughs> All right, so uh, apparently you can do drugs while playing this because that's not the type of game that we thought exactly. it was. I think this is a rebellion to the whole dare movement. Is that what this guy's doing? He's he's eating a lemon. Uh, let's see what kinds of things they Which is want addictive. Us to do, Link. All right, so. Dare uh, me. There's a nice warped board here. We paid twelve dollars and seventy five cents oh, for this on eBay, so I'm fine that it's a little waterlogged. You, you draw the um, from taking it into the shower, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, you draw these cards and then you you read the trivia question. What's the world's windiest place? Chicago. Okay, <laughs> and then if you get it wrong, you got to do a a dare and you move around the board and blah 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 blah. But then there's these. Uh, double dare cards. Oh, okay, double dare me something. Which, um, if you land on one of these, you just do it. So, you have to do it. I double dare you to lie on the ground and let an opponent fill your belly button with water. <laughs> I dare you, man. Well, where's the ground? Expose it. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! hey. What? You filled more than my belly button. Oh, and now, oh, and it went right down. It went oh. right down. See, oh, that's the type of fun that I took a shower with my clothes can have. on. Now that's the next one. Some good adult fun. How about um, your mother caught you in the act? <laughs> For the next twenty seconds, try to plead your way out of it. Use the word "mommy" at least five times. Now this is a good one. So you're the mom. Link, what are you? It's not. It's not what you think, Mom. It's. 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 it's yeah, I was mommy, just. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> yeah. Mommy. I was. What's, I, my, what's that on your hand? Is that hand soap? Yeah. My. 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 You my. Been washing your hands again? My crotch was dirty and itchy, <laughs> oh. and I had to wash it okay. vigorously. Well, next in my time, bedroom. Just let mommy know. Mommy, I'm sorry, mommy. Dad, I've been, I've been trying to keep so clean. Okay, wow. <laughs> and, uh, you were seems like you were really scrubbing. <laughs> I was, mommy. I'm so. Where's the soap container? Embarrassed about it. Where's the soap container? Oh, you grabbed some from the bathroom and it's, ran into the room. No, it's it's in my anus currently, mommy. <laughs> okay, Link. Uh... <laughs> Get down on the ground. Well, why do I gotta get on the ground so much? And lick up a small bowl of milk like a cat. Oh, well, we don't have that. Just be a cat. We we, we don't cat. we don't have that. Do we, we have, don't have a little bowl? Do it. Just milk. give me another just one. Lick your, on. mm -hmm. Just lick your. Give me another one. Meow. For twenty seconds. Okay. Plead with your mommy. Cradle an opponent in your arms and sing a lullaby to him or her. Rock a bye, Linky, with the hand soap. <laughs> <laughs> you put the container in your anus. <laughs> We're gonna have to get it with a rope. <laughs> we have to get it with rope. Uh, we're going spelunking. All right, we're having fun. Uh, oh, sorry, like he's the one, one who started it. Don't like that one. <laughs> uh, give each player's belly a squeeze. Oh, come on, what's it? What? You're a bunch of adults. Like, can you imagine this? You bring people like, like. A good friend's over for a game night. All right, grab somebody else's belly. Or Bob the intro. Okay, I'm gonna grab, if I have to, I'm gonna grab Cheryl's belly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want you to grab Bob the introvert's uh, belly. Uh, have another player diaper you over your clothes and stay that way for the rest of the well, game. Well, how many props does the game come with? You have like, you got, well, you gotta have diapers on hand? You gotta have milk bowls? This is a tough game. All right, yeah, the, we, we hit a peak early. Um, I kind of love it, though. 
You know, I like inviting adult friends over and putting them in uncomfortable situations involving filling belly buttons, touching bellies, and admitting to, well, activities. You know what we should do? You know how we used to have that game night at my house, and I've been thinking about re it. It's fizzled out, yeah, it's fizzled it's, out. Well, it's a, a little thing called a pandemic happened, and I've never started it again. <laughs> Let's start it again, and this is the game we play. We could do it. Taking us back to 1988, still a steal on eBay. Yeah. Dare board game, bring it back. Last week, Josh hosted Nigel Ung, AKA Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger was on, on Last, Last Meals. Meals. So if you haven't checked that out already, go over to the Mythical Kitchen channel to watch it. Okay, I've never seen the words laughing and tantrum slapped together before. Uh. Until right now, Jimmy Industries. Jimmy Industries? G E M M Y. Oh, don't Jimmy get excited. Industries. Created the Laughing Tantrum Baby Doll. <laughs> oh, see? There's a laughing, and then there's a tantrum. And this, okay. do we have an ad for this thing? Good. Thankfully. I, I didn't want to watch it. Thankfully, we don't. This is the same company that now makes the Billy Bass. Are talking. you joking or is that a joke? That's that's real. Jimmy Industries, they make inflatables for your front yard. No more baby. I didn't even touch it. I didn't even tickle you. Uh, laughing tantrum. I think this. And Billy Bass. This baby may have gotten a little bit of that baby secret uh, situation going on. You know what I'm saying? It has a little bit of a like. I think if I was an evil spirit, I might want to spend some time in this. Well, thing. look at it. In, shut up! See? Look at it in profile. I mean, it looks like one of those mushroom beans from The Last of Us. It, it's like I think it looks like Sloth from The Goonies got somebody pregnant. And it, yeah, because this looks like a butt, like a butt That's forehead. A butt, it's a butt face. And you would think those are the eyes down here. And then there's the nose and the mouth, but then when you shut up! When you I, turn I hate it, this thing. Can we break it for I good? Hate How it. much do we pay for it? $45. $45. Yeah, break it, man. Well, throw it throw a tantrum. I've thrown plenty on this show. If you take the head off, does it end it? End it. End it. End it's life. There you go, Rhett. There you go. Mm. <laughs> it wouldn't stop laughing. It That's just wouldn't disturbing. stop laughing. It okay, loved it. You know what? We love it too. This is the best. Yeah, this is the best doll ever. We're gonna send we're gonna send this doll out into the world to find like a loving home because it's so special. We're not gonna keep it here. But we do love it. It's possessed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How, seriously, how does that happen? This doesn't have any sort of like sensory stuff in it. Like it's it's just buttons. Now it won't do it. Let's see, just like every baby, Maybe it doesn't do it perform on command. <laughs> what's going on, man? Tell me what's going on, Lee. Tell me it's gonna be okay. Laughing tantrum doll. Nah, nah that's, that's whack. whack. Last up, we've got Tugger War. <laughs> I think this is for people who've already mastered Tug O War. You know, ready for a greater challenge like uh -huh. us. That's us, man. Yeah, that's us. Sorry, mommy, you caught me playing Tugger War. <laughs> I'm playing Tugger War all alone again. <laughs> It's the yanking. I'm, be I'm beating myself. <laughs> Balancing uh, game. Get it? If you're uh, playing by yourself, hush. Uh, you get it? Tr try. Do you, do you get it? It's a double. It's a double meaning. Try to be the last one standing. So you've got these like um, plastic discs that wobble. Rhett is currently perched upon. One. They're not easy to stand on, even with not being tugged. And then I'm gonna stand on this other one. And uh, are you a one hand tugger? I don't know what. Let's what I should do. I think I'm gonna use this hand as a counter. 
Oh, side tugging. <laughs> top, <laughs> top to bottom <laughs> tugging. <laughs> in and out tugging. Little in and out. <laughs> All right, I got you. Okay. I got you with round one. Okay. All right, okay. now other hand. Tug of war, tug of war. Me and my buddy tug of war. Let's come up with like something to start. Like, you tug, I tug, we both tug. Just buddies tugging together. Just two buddies tugging, tugging together. on a rope. Tugging on a cord. Tugging his way. He's so tall. He's a big tugger. He's a big tugger. Oh, that yeah, was a tie. Really, you really, that was a tie. The old tugger tie. I, I actually thought you had me on that one. Oh, you went, you, you went right hand. Oh, tug it, tug it, tug it. <laughs> you left me some slack. <laughs> Yay! So it's a tie. Hey, this is, this hey, is well, fun enough. Can you tell how much fun we're having? This is fun enough for one more round. Just two guys tugging. Okay. One more round. This is fun. Tiebreaker. Because you've won one, I've won one, and we tied on one. Me and my buddy tugging, tugging up on a tree. cord. Oh, my God. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> You're pretty good, man. Oh, I'm the best tugger in the land. Wow, dude. You tug so nice. Yeah, yeah. You didn't tug hard enough, man. I'm a little out of breath. I'm smiling a lot. I, mean, I haven't smiled this much. I think I need the hand since, soap. <laughs> since, my, since I learned how to make hand soap. My hand smells like blue balls. <laughs> Oh, gosh, they really do stink. I mean, this is the game that keeps on giving. We got blue balls, we're tugging. I mean, the toy manufacturer was really sending a message. <laughs> yeah. <ain't> message it? <laughs> received. <laughs> Tug of war. Bring it back. Okay, we're bringing back tug of war. We're bringing back the dare game. Maybe we can put them together and have a great time. I dare you to tug. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Robert. I'm Audrey. And this is Sally. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Sally understood the assignment. And Sally also looked at the, the viewfinder to yeah. do it, not it's, just like I do. It's the new generation. Click the top link to watch us choose the best and worst gifts from the Bullseye's Playground section in Target and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel's gonna land. You have walk here? We actually do, yeah. This white people's studio, you got walk? We even yeah, have a rice cooker, if you can believe See, see? Hi, uh...